Yeah, I want to have a boat now, a floating boat. We said three months. It took us almost three years, full time. This is our story about buying a big boat in Mexico with lots of work ahead of us. A project that got out of control. The question is, will we ever make it all the way? starts to disappear. You think something disappears? Yeah. Yeah, it ain't gonna be an orange boat, that's for sure. So we just have to remove this paint first. How's it going? That's going pretty good. It doesn't sit too too bad. And uh, but yeah, it's a lot of work. I mean a trimaran, three hulls. So it's a lot of paint to remove. So it's probably gonna take a week, at least. It's easy to be optimistic, first day at work. Removing the paint with spatulas and sanding machines probably took us about two months with some help from the marina. It's lots of surface, overhang, corners, making it a lot more difficult. So we're gonna make the extension here. Rancheros. And that is? It's uh, Mexican beans with eggs. And let's see what else there is here. Oh, pico de gallo. Oh, looks like a Mexican, Mexican lunch. Uh, it was a big earthquake this night. Yeah, um, it was huge, but we didn't really know that it was that huge. That was our first time uh, in an earthquake. The earthquake was one of the biggest in recent Mexican history, measuring 8.2, and it also created a tsunami that unfortunately hit the marina with a devastating result. It took more than half a year before most of the repairs had been done. The electronics in the travel lift was also submerged and therefore out of order the next three months. Mm. What I do think you think? we're done with the outside work in uh, two weeks, what do you think? Two weeks? Two weeks? What do you think? Two weeks? What do you think? Two weeks? What do you think? Maybe? It's so hard to estimate because we find one problem and we solve that one and we find another problem and we need to solve that one. Okay, well you guys might think that we never will be finished with this boat. We've been here for more than three months now and for a lot of people it's probably hard to see the progress because it's they look like shit, but we're doing repairs that are necessary to do. Like you there? Airy. Doesn't seem that comfortable up there. Yeah. Nice view. 
think it's a nice view when you're sailing. Just such a big relief. What did you say? Oh, that's a big milestone. Yeah? Now it's just bits and pieces left. <laughs> and a big trampoline. Well, how come you insist working night every time? I don't know. It's now I have my energy. So, <laughs> I'm so tired in the morning and so warm. And the yeah, but I mean, you just had a shower, so you're working now in your clean, clean hair and your clean clothes and... Yeah, just yeah. because I started too late with this project <laughs> and I needed to add at least two coats. So, can you tell the viewers why you're doing this? Uh, uh, uh. Ah, you seem to... Ah. What did you do? That was a mosquito. Mm. Ah, they love to be here at this time. So I need to do a mosquito dance at the same time. <laughs> mosquito dance? You have to show me that later. Uh, <laughs> doesn't seem very... Ah, oh my god! It's so ma oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god. I'm putting the last coat of filler on now. So for the viewers who doesn't know... Why we use epoxy? So why do we use epoxy? That's the strongest and most waterproof. Got some bubbles. We don't like air bubbles. Nope. So I remove them. Yeah, I mean air bubbles weakens the whole whole thing if we don't get them. The last hole is always the last hole. Yeah. I found some bad play, some bad wood to replace again. Mr. Planky. Done. Wow. You look so professional when you're having the measuring tape. This was just, that was my purpose. Okay, so this is your project here now. I measured on 22 So you're gonna close this hole here? Yeah. What is your best idea so far? About My best this? idea? I want it to be easy to get from the cockpit up to the um, to the ACA. I haven't decided how to do that yet. First we're thinking about adding a trampoline here, but we're not so sure anymore. So, it's this. It's a catwalk, so it's gonna be easier to walk from here in the aft up to the Akka. So I just started prepping this yesterday and today uh, we are gluing on this um, uh, webbing. So it's like a box beam we're building here. Finally we got it up the catwalk. still have um, the top side and we're gonna glass it in. We, uh, at the moment you only glued it in with epoxy. The catwalk has made it so much easier to move around on the deck and it would be hard to see the boat without this feature. It also makes the boat look even more like a spaceship. All the boat project wasn't enough, the rainy season didn't make it easier for us. Although it was pretty predictable, coming late afternoon or later, it was always hard to cover the boat to 100%. 
Several times the rain woke us up in the middle of the night, forcing us to get to the marina to make sure everything was good. We can still wake up in the middle of the night by the rain and get that bad feeling. Ah, Damaged for way. life or not? Are you going to buy the shoes or? Yeah, it seems like he's selling shoes. Pero... You have to move. Let's have a look here. Um, okay, well, we, we put two tarps on, on the aft deck, and one of them seems to have been, blow, been blowing off. How does it look like? Yeah. Alright? It's got a little bit wet here, the wood. Yeah, but not in, inside the box? No. No, because that's also untreated inside the box. Alright, okay, and then we have inside. It's not 100% rainproof. No, nah, it's been pretty worn this tarp now. It's alright. Okay. I'm exhausted. Jesus, but it's just 5 o'clock or 5.30. Yeah. And it's still, it's not dark. No, but I worked like 200%. 200 percent. Two hundred percent. Yeah. That's me. That's me. Mr. Efficient Guy. Ooh. That's why I like you so tired at this time. Yeah, I want to have a boat now, a floating boat. I'm aiming to say you have a boat. And this is floating also. No, it's not, because I drilled hole in the Amas. <laughs> Two holes, one in each. I can fix them tomorrow. Okay. Then Looks like you're heading somewhere. Guatemala. We've been here in Mexico for 180 days now, and that's what you, what you're allowed to stay here. So, new stamp in passport. One of the main reasons buying this boat was because it was very light and could sail when most other boats needed to run their engine. A perfect platform to have electric propulsion. So when we took our diesel engine out, it was meant to be forever. This was one of the most pronounced projects we would do on the boat and we had done countless hours of research about batteries, electric motors, controllers and so on. About 18 months into the project, we are taking the decision to keep the diesel. The only reason is because money had gone to other projects. It felt very sad, because this was our main project. If this wasn't enough, before this decision had been taken, we had given our diesel tank away. Same with our muffler, water lock, hoses and more parts. Things we now needed to buy again. Can always hope karma is paying back. Hmm, I see you working on the other hatch now, so that means that you're done with the forward hatch? Mm, need some more sanding there. A quick resume what we've done the last weeks, okay? <laughs> Where shall I start? I mean, okay. We sanded the whole cockpit, it took a long, long time. We put fairing compound this morning and it's gonna be sanded tomorrow. We put up both catwalks, we glassed them in, we put fairing compound and we've sanded it. It's the same on the other side. Oh my gosh, I'm already getting exhausted. We're putting fairing compound on the deck, haven't sanded yet. You see all the red spots, it's a lot of areas. And here where I'm standing as well. And the hull as well, the whole hull. Not the whole hall, okay, I'm ex ex segregating, but still, it's a lot of compound. Yeah. I'm not really woken up yet. It's a little bit after six, and usually I'm not here that early. But today, you know what? Today it's gonna be painted.
Hello. Hola. Hola. No. We didn't plan for the. Uh... Andreas and his yellow stick. Yellow it is. Yellow is the color of the year. Masking the stripes today. So, you see here, a lot of masking tape. Um, we have stuck up with lots of masking tape. So, here's a bag. So, hopefully, that will be enough. And uh, hopefully, I'm done today with the masking. You're the interior specialist. Yeah. You almost took over my job. Don't worry. I don't like it that much. Because I like being outside working. Because it's so hot and humid and bloody. Yeah, you know. So what I've been working on is holes. I've been drilling holes for the... Yeah, you're having it up there. The new main sheet track. Seems like a super nice centerboard and it actually was when it was built about eight years ago but uh, it's very wavy so it seems like to be some kind of delamination but anyway so that's a big project to cut up the whole um, uh, dagger board so I'm not really looking forward to do that I was really pissed the other day when I found this I thought we had had enough with bad finding
already through. When we're not pulling up or letting chain out, this is how it looks. But when we're gonna use it, we have it like this and we secure it. And this is just so we get the, the chain in the middle of the box and that makes a big difference uh, if it's gonna jam or not jam. I still need to cut the pipe a little bit, I see. When the deck got painted last season, it was mainly to protect it from the elements, but the paint itself acts as a base coat when we frame the non-skid areas. We had gone forth and back how and what to use when it comes to non-skid, and in the end we chose a two-component paint and sand. So, the procedure was one coat of paint and as soon as possible, like within seconds, broadcasting the sand, let it sit for an hour or two, and then vacuum all the loose sand, and finally overcoat it with four coats of paint. How's it going? It takes time. Time? It takes a long time to do trimming. So your router in this piece for the floorboards. Have a look here. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five different levels. And if it doesn't fit, it's tricky to know which level that's not the level. good. Here's another one, yeah. Awesome job. So I'm taking out the panels. Yesterday I did one panel um, to um, make the cutout here perfect. Because we received some wood trims from the carpenter and I want to make sure everything fits and everything is good so we can make the other three for the windows. Yeah, it's getting pretty good. And Karen's still working on her straight lines, I guess. She's still working. Never ending story, we're doing straight lines. Mm, a pile of wood trims. Yeah. He is focused. I need a longer pen. Oh my gosh. Or yeah. Pen, I yeah, I think you need to take like a week break because <laughs> of that. A long pen. Job of the morning. Sanding some of the wood trims we primed yesterday. That was the most boring job in a long while. See, it's these curved profiles. Poo. Took two, three minutes to do each of them. Are you also working with wood trims? Of course I do. Wood trims is our life now. Yeah, we know everything about wood trims. We can name like a hundred different kind of uh, woods. <laughs> In Spanish and Latin. In Spanish is uh, roble, is oak. We got uh, cedro, is cedar. But then you just have 98 left. <laughs> the other one I keep for next episode. <laughs> trims going the wood trim gulp he is I'm priming on my own today have a look here this is the selection of wood trims you can get them two centimeter wide or three centimeter wide in a different length and this is just for the ceiling yeah I think that's oh yeah <laughs> So let's say hello to hot sauce with new bottom paint. It has felt like it since day one, but the never ending story just keeps going. 
Now it was time to go over the sail drive and of course I found some work needed to be done and of course some new parts need replacement. So I sanded, burred and primed the leg, replaced some oil seals, engine mount and the diaphragm. On the engine itself I replaced the crankshaft seal, the damper and another engine mount. Since before I had already replaced all hoses, flushed the cooling system and gone over everything. My friend Radar! He's all installed on the mast! Had a little bit of trouble. Uh, before the, um, uh, the cable was running on the outside and I didn't really like that. So I decided to drill that hole you just saw. But just when I drilled it through, I managed to uh, touch one cable, so the insulation came off. So I decided to pull it out and change the cable. But it sounded pretty easy, but we had to take all the cables out because they were all taped together. And that was a big, not a big project, but still took a day. sliding door. I think this one is not perfect. No, very good. Looks pretty alright. And all the wood trims for the ceiling is up. The position is on, but they are not painted yet. This is the best progress this week. Looks uh, nice. Ah, this one. Looks like you're going somewhere. I'm going back to Sweden. Sweden. Time to go home, get some more money. Oh, that doesn't sound fun at all. Uh, I think it's a bit more relaxing than here, hopefully. So you can say I'm going on a vacation. <laughs> well, I'm staying here for, I don't know, a couple of weeks more, and then I'll probably fly home as well. Try to save up some more money, because we don't have any money. Yeah, that's how it is. So I just need to finish a couple of projects here on the boat. And then I'm back too.